Okay, so this is a quick rundown of the things you're going to see me use in this video. First thing is a 4 inch square steel electrical box. The one I use here is 2 and an 8 inch deep. Electrical box cover goes on top of that box. Mud ring that goes between the electrical box cover and the electrical box. 50 amp 2 pole circuit breaker. That's the amperage and the poles you're going to need. The circuit breaker and the cost are going to depend on your brand of the main junction box. 50 amp NEMA 1450 outlet. That's what you're installing here. 3 8 inch clamp connector. I'm using one going into my main electrical box. 3 8 quarter inch clamp connector I'm using going into the plug we're installing. About two feet of conduit I used here where the wire is exposed. And I use the just regular 6 slash 3 wire, which is 6 gauge, 3 wires inside the sheath, plus a ground. Now the main things that are cost different depending on your installation, or whether you're installing this indoors or outdoors, you'll need a different type of box. You'll need vastly different amounts of wire depending on how far you're putting it from your main box. And the circuit breaker is going to depend. The rest of the stuff is pretty much standard. Alright, so first thing first, what you can do is, in my case, I'm going to knock out the 3 quarter inch of and there you go, it is knocked out now. So in my case, I'm going to be wiring from the box to the circuit breaker. The reason I'm doing that is because it's 100 degrees out here. And I want to turn off the breaker, the power to the house, in minimal amount of time as possible. So I'll wait until uh, early in the morning to do that portion. But the distance from plug to the box, in my case, is only a couple of feet. I have placed the cable clamp on the entrance there to protect the cable from the sharp edges. Come over here to the plug. The wiring is pretty simple. The black and the red are interchangeable. It doesn't matter which of the two they go in. The white and the ground are marked on both the plug itself and the packaging. So those two have a place to go. These two are interchangeable. You can put black here, you can put red there, whichever way you want to do it. In the plug, and I'm starting to put it through here, I just wanted to point out there's a mud ring on this if you're wondering what you're looking at there. So there is the finished install of the plug onto the wall. Got the plug in, it's in there nice and tight, it's not moving at all. Cable's coming out over here, there's going to be conduit on top of this, go on that, then I'll tighten this down completely. But as of right now, that is done. One thing I want to point out, you start looking at other videos, as you can see on the wiring diagram right there on the package, you'll notice the ground is facing up. Both of those pictures on the right, the ground is facing up here. The ground is also facing up in the Tesla manual. If you look at other videos on YouTube, you are going to find a bunch of people with the ground facing down. Just pointing that out. Faces up. So next step here, then run into the box. You've removed the electric box cover here. I have knocked out one on the bottom and put a clamp there to bring the wire through. All right, so this is the final product. See, we came in through the, the clamp there. Here we cut the sheath open. We got the red and the black, which I said are interchangeable on the plug. They're both coming up and going into the circuit breaker right here. Red and black, doesn't matter which one they're in. The same way it doesn't matter which plug they're in. Coming over here, we got the white one, which goes up into the bus with the rest of the white ones. And the ground comes in there and goes in there with the other million grounds. So that's all there is to it. Circuit breaker's on, circuit's working. There we are, there we are. And here we are, finalized. Got the plug, wire going in, box's cover is back on, got all the screws in place. Got it labeled over here, NEMA 1450. So the critical question in this whole video is, does what I just showed you work? As you can see, we got the Model 3 here plugged in in my garage. Follow that back, you got a little cord organizer and you'll see it plugged into the plug that I just installed. Coming over into the car. As you can see, 240 volts, 32 amps, 29 miles an hour.